howdy friends, my name is Nico, I like novels, and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today, oh my gosh, I have finished my sketchbook after so, so long and I absolutely loved filming the past sketchbook for you guys so I really just wanted to film this one and go through it and show you guys all the weird wacky stuff I have in here. So if you're cool with that, if you're down with that, please sit down, get a cup of coffee, get a cup of tea, get your own sketchbook out, draw along with me and yeah, let's just jump right into it. So to begin the journey, um, I know some people are really curious about like stickers that are on sketchbooks and the branding. So to run through that very quickly, uh, the stickers you see kind of just dotted along this absolute <laughs> mad array of, um, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, the cover. Um, most of them are from either Etsy or the football festival here in England, which is basically our version of Comic-Con. Um, and then these ones here, as well as this one over here, I made, uh, it was part of a university zine thing we were doing. Um, so yeah, I made those. The rest are from Etsy. And for those curious, this is a moleskin sketchbook. Um, this this brand of sketchbook is pretty much the only one I've found that's able to withstand my, <laughs> how should I put it, very, very aggressive way of colouring. <laughs> uh, and by that I mean layering so much watercolour on top of something that the page disintegrates. Um, but even this sketchbook, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of falling apart at the seams a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> let's dive right in. Okie dokie Loki, the first page. Let's get right into it. So over here, we just have some demon drawings. I was trying to like, I don't know why this is like <laughs> really off skew. Okay, over here, demon drawings. Um, I was trying to characterize my versions of the Four Horsemen of Apocalypse um, because I really like them, uh, but I didn't do them justice. Apart from War, she looks great. Everyone else looks terrible, but shush, we'll get to that later. Over here, <laughs> we have Jack and Coda uh, looking real funky, real weird. <laughs> They'll look better, I promise. And then down here we have Argyle and another Coda covering some stuff because it's the first page. I'm covering pretty much everything. Uh, second page, we just have some ship art. I was trying to like draw more of the other couples within my little OC world. Um, so we have a really dodgy looking Mr. Merrick. Shush. Uh, we have Argyle and Margus, Jess and Sam, and then Jack and Coda. They're still looking a bit funky, so don't don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, they'll they'll get fixed. Over here we have a much better looking Mist and Merrick, um, both of whom are just vibing. Uh, please admire, this is the best they're going to look in this entire sketchbook. I'm never gonna draw them like this again. Um, <laughs> so take that in whilst you still can. Uh, down here, this is when the quarry came out. Uh, the quarry, for those who don't know, is the new game in the super massive uh, world. It's the same people who made Until Dawn. Um, really like that game. I had a lot of fun playing it, so I had to do some fan art. You'll you'll see these two a lot. Uh, over here, sticker from my university friend Amy. Uh, over here, more Jack and Coda. They're still not. <laughs> they're still not looking a hundred percent. But we have a little comic down there of just. Jack kind of being a simp. Um, we this is when Pride happened, and then over here I just have a full page kind of illustration of the Quarry Gang because I just love that game so much. And look at them in their 80s outfits; they look so funky. <laughs> Next page, I was still on the Quarry fixation, so we just have Caitlin Carr and Dylan as werewolves, um, Laura with the eye patch because she stole my heart um, and then over here we have a tiny Jack and Coda and then a really interesting looking pose from Mist. I, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Let's just ignore that. This is when I went to Greece. Um, I went to Greece with my family and I drew pretty much the entire time I was there. Um, but this is from the museum we went to because you weren't allowed to take pictures so I just drew the statues I saw anyway. Um, here's a leaf, a Greek leaf. He's so cool. Uh, up here we have the florist tattoo artist AU I was planning on doing for the quarry, but I didn't really ever finish it. I was just kind of dabbling, drafting, I don't know the word, but yeah, that was a plan. Never really carried up through with it, but yeah. 
next page, um, I got some new watercolour. I was back to the UK at this point. Um, I was just kind of testing them out. So we have Merrick and another Merrick looking real cool. Uh, we have Edgar with a snake. Uh, if you have any names for the snake, please let me know. Um, snake names always appreciated. Um, we have a little coda, Jack in a really weird sleeveless shirt. And then Charlie, of course. This is also when I graduated um, from uni. Very fun. I'm so happy that I'm a graduate. Um, over here, we have Mist in really cool shoes. Look how chunky they are. Um, and then we have a lot of red, I guess. Uh, we have Ryan and Coda, both kind of, you know, being the closest two people in Jack's life, aka the boyfriend, the big brother. It's great. Great relationship. Over here, we have Argyle looking very weird and then just Jack <laughs> what's new it's just Jack everything is Jack um, over here we have another illustration of Jack and the gang um, I really wanted to draw Jack and his like not his closest friends because that would be Mr. Merrick but his kind of like childhood friends so we have Damien Chris and Millie aka the ex-girlfriend <laughs> the ex-girlfriend the new boyfriend and the really weird edgy one that everyone kind of knows but no one really knows if he likes them if that makes any sense but yeah they're there over here then is a messy page as it says <laughs> um I, I don't really know what's going on there but next page um we have marcus looking real cute uh millie and lucas aka the new new boyfriend um jack Jack is really crying over that. Uh, <laughs> and then over here we have Ryan, aka the big brother, looking real, real cool, real alternative. I don't know if that's the right term, like very punk, very edgy, very grungy. We love it. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be a consistent thing with his design, but I do kind of like it. So that might continue on. We have Coda and Jess both looking very weird um they'll change they'll change don't worry <laughs> next up we have i was getting back into the gorillas so i did a little doodle of the demon days album but it's my characters instead of the gorillas up here we have zachary um his eye patch is on the wrong side <laughs> but shush uh then we have michael looking very funky pretty much in this sketchbook every single character looks really really funky until the end and then that's when i start like drawing them correctly again basically that's the vibe over here we have jack and coda basically coda being a simp over his boyfriend all good relationships start with simping uh, down here we have argyle and my brain argyle and marcus uh, at a carnival just sort of vibing um, next up, this is when Moon Knight came out and I got very, very, very obsessed. Uh, so we just have the boys, aka Mark, Steven and Jake, all just fighting over cup noodles. I found this pose on Pinterest and I, I had to, it's just so perfect. Uh, down here we have Jess and Mist, a little Argyle, a very freckled Lucas looking very cheeky. And then Millie in some very, very neon pants. <laughs> Next up, we have Kenny McCormick, my boy. I need to draw more South Park stuff. I love that show so much. Um, this was actually a redraw from a redraw. That makes no sense. I drew a redraw from the show in a previous sketchbook. And I was really inspired by it, but I wanted to do like a almost Lovecraftian twist. So I turned his Mysterion alter ego into a little monster because I thought that was really cool. Over here, this is when She-Hulk came out. I don't like the show, it's so bad. Um, <laughs> I know that's the general opinion of the show, it's bad. If you like She-Hulk, please let me know down below. I would love to know how many people genuinely watched that show and liked it. Um, I did not like it. I like the comics though, so I did I did cave and I drew some stuff for it, but I just, it was so bad, okay. <laughs> Next page. So this page is mostly just a bunch of doodles. Over here, this was my warm up for the five marker Posca challenge I did. Um, I was trying to make sure the channel, the challenge would actually be doable with some more wacky colors. So <laughs> that was my test run. Um, over here, we just have Audrey and Brian and then <laughs> the rest of it is, 
very strange. We have a tiny conchu, a Grizz from the Society, because I like that show. Weird, weird frog thing, an angel, and Jess and Sam. I, I don't know about the pose, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Next up, we have the boys. Um, over here we have Jack, over here we have Coda. This was just me kind of just drawing them in fungi outfits because I kind of just wanted to. Um, this is also when I was re-watching Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. <laughs> Fun little fact. Next page, another video that I had shot and then never uploaded. Um, this over here was a video I did with gouache. Um, I got the really big Miyahimi gouache palette and then I just never, never uploaded it. <laughs> I didn't really like the page to be honest. Um, it's not my favourite page. I mean it's okay with this side of it but I think without it it just it looks kind of weird. Um, but yeah we just have Max, Camilla Khan and then the Percy Jackson gang. Over here we just have a very funky looking mist and then a very hairy looking Lucas my god. Next page mess as usual but a mess you might recognize. This is a video I did, a little draw of me, um, so this should be familiar. If it's not, go watch the video. It's really good, I promise. Um, but yeah, I go more into depth into what's going on there in that video, but there we go. Next up, uh, this is a very messy, kind of less cluttered page. Uh, we have a very bad looking Merrick that I'm just gonna cover with my hand. Uh, we have uh, Coda, Rox, and then this is just a full page spread of the, everyone's favourite boys uh, because I love them and they deserved a full page spread. <laughs> Next up, uh, ooh, no. <laughs> Next up, another page you might recognise. Uh, this is from the five Posca challenge I did. Uh, that made no sense. We're running with it. <laughs> this is from that video. Uh, yeah, this video, the side of the page didn't get recorded, but there you go, in its full glory. It looks great. <laughs> Next up, kind of, this was when I was trying to figure out if I should turn my OC world into a webcomic. Um, I was kind of messing around with the idea, so I was kind of drafting out uh, chapter thumbnails and just random little bits and bobs. Um, and over here we have Sam looking real cool and <laughs> just being a simp. I think that's just the the general story throughout this sketchbook is I'm just drawing the characters simping over the significant others. Um, but yeah, that's there. Next up, my favourite page of the sketchbook, we have Jack basically just dominating the side of the spread. We have Argyle in a really funky frog shirt. We have Sebastian aka Charlie's telepathic spidery thing. And then we have Jinx because I was re-watching Arcane and I, I love Jinx. I think her design is so so cool and yeah that's that's pretty much the story behind this page. Next up, this page is a lot more muted, a lot more chill. Um, this is when I was trying to get into Bridgerton, but I just I didn't really like it, I'm sorry. I heard Freddie Stromer was in it, and that was the sole reason I started watching it. But I'm not a big fan of romance shows, so um, I couldn't, I'm sorry. But I really like the outfits and like the sort of historical aesthetic of it. Um, so I instead decided I'd redraw a Renaissance painting with Mr. Merrick because I thought that'd be really cute. So that's there. This is also one of the Don't Hug Me I'm Scared TV show came out. So that's why they're there. Down here, I was re-watching the original Adams Family TV show, um, but I also really like Wednesday in the Adams Family Values. So it's the original TV show Gomez with Family Values Wednesday, if that makes any sense. Um, over here we have the gays all just in one big cuddle pile. Um, I really just wanted to draw them all together because uh, I feel like they'd be great friends. So they're there. And then up here we have a really weird eyeball mushroom thing. I was watching a documentary about mycelium and that came out of it. Next up is a really messy page. Uh, you can tell when I don't like the drawings I do, uh, when I just cover them with a litter of things. Uh, you can tell I liked it in the beginning because I stuck like a clear thing over it. And then I just covered it because I, I did like it. Um, but this is a don't hug me, I'm scared. Like, um, what do you call it? 
piece illustration, full page spread. Uh, I was trying to humanize the characters, uh, but I just never got around to finishing the painting. So that's there to eternally sit unfinished. Maybe I'll redraw it later, but yeah. <laughs> Next up, this is when I got sick with COVID, so I was pretty down in the dumps, um, but I was drawing Joda to cheer me up. And then once I was back to work, I did a little doodle. I drew my boy Zachary. I was watching Bob's Burgers. You are so dramatic. <laughs> okay, I completely lost my train of thought. My cat was going bonkers in the background. Um, but yeah, this is the page. There's also a little surprise waiting for all of you. There's a little Charlie just heading, heading in a little envelope, bestowing you all with happiness and joy. Uh, but yeah, that's this page. I'm so sorry about my cat. <laughs> Next up, a very pink page. Um, down here is Flumpadinkle the Fourth. Please be greeted by him. Uh, over here, we have Louise and Bob from Bob's Burgers because, like I think I said, I was watching that show. Um, over here, this is meant to be Sophie from the school for how the heck do you say that the school for good and evil um i was trying to draw her um it didn't work as you can see then i have dr coda and jess great great little page next up is a page i i don't like um yeah it's a mess um we have a really funky looking question mark character down here we have zachary before he got redesigned and then we have a very messy looking toby and rocks i did them so dirty <laughs> but we won't talk about that next up i did a little doodle of me at work i did this when i was on break um from a very long day but yeah, I love work, work's so fun. My coworkers are so sweet. Over here, we have Argyle and Coda because I just really wanted to draw them. I just have the urge sometimes to just draw the boys and... Next page, um, this page here was actually a tester page. I got a hoo hoo markers, um, which by the way, if you wanna see a video of me struggling to use a hoo hoo markers, let me know. Uh, but I was just testing them out. Uh, I'm not the best with alcohol markers. I don't really like using them. Um, but I did want to try them out because I know that they're very highly recommended by the art community here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I tried them. I don't know if I really like the page, but I like how they turned out. They're pretty cool. So yeah. Over here, this was a page I did just, <laughs> I wanted to draw Mr. Merrick. I don't draw them enough. So they got some love, a little bit of their own personal spread here. Next up, it's a mess. What's new? Okay, so I drew some pretty Pinterest girls. I saw Black Pant, aka Black Panther 2 in cinemas. And then I, <laughs> this was a mess. I basically was trying to redesign or like rewrite Jack and, Jack and Ryan's story. Um, so I was just kind of messing around with the various ideas I had. It's a mess, what's new? Next page, okay, so over here we have hands. Down here we have Xena Raff, the consumer of souls who looks mighty fabulous. Then we just have some various OC doodles. We just have Mist, Merrick, Cuddling Cat, Jack and Coda having a smooch, Coda again, and then Maya aka the best girl. I will not take criticism. Maya is the best. She's so cute. I love drawing her and I need to draw her more. Ah, okay, next page. This is a mess. Uh, this is when Titans, <laughs> the next season came out and me and Teddy were watching it. And I really, really love Raven and Garfield in that show. I know some people don't like Titans, but I really like it. So I drew them. Millie looking real messy over there. Then we have Mr. and Merrick equally looking messy. I, I don't understand why I was trying to do like a purple orange color scheme. It doesn't really look good, but oh well <laughs> then we have merrick up here uh this was when disaster struck okay um this was a video that i had filmed i had shot i had edited and then it got corrupted and i just i couldn't save it i couldn't fix it i lost so much footage that i was just like i can't even turn it into a draw of me anymore so <sighs> there we are the page that never happened but we have Bendy, we have Blitzer, we have a weird bunny lady taking a bath. It was gonna be great, but it was with Posca pencils. It was a vibe, but never happened. But yeah. 
in my other page. <laughs> Next up, this is when Teddy came to visit me here in my hometown. Uh, I don't like this drawing, but Teddy does, so that can stay. We have Jack and Coda looking a lot better than they did at the start of the sketchbook. Let's just look at the boys. Look how much they've grown. Then we have Sam looking cool and Lord Sandwich, the king of the capybaras. Admire him. Isn't he great? <laughs> Next up, we have Enid and Wednesday because look, I didn't like that show, but I loved those two. I thought they were really cute. I loved their friendship, so I drew them. Uh, but yeah, didn't really like that show. I thought what they did to Tyler was, was quite annoying. But anyway, <laughs> here we have some monochromatic paintings. I got some acrylic paint and I was just kind of doodling with it. Uh, down here we have a pretty Pinterest lady, a cool Japanese street. Uh, I forget his name, but I was watching the Midnight Gospel whilst I was doing all this. And then we have a cool bird because birds are always fun to draw. Next up, I got really into eyewitness, so I drew Philip and Lucas from that show, which, by the way, if you like the idea of, like, LGBT meets crime drama meets, like, interesting, weird, spooky twists and turns, and it's really good, okay? Just watch eyewitness. <laughs> then over here we have Merrick, Mist, Jack and Coda, the usual, you know how the drill goes. Next up, a very messy page. I was just kind of messing around. Christmas was fast approaching. Um, so over here we have Lucas and Damien as kids. We just have my girl Darcy, Coda, more eyewitness, but it's a redraw, so it's Merrick and not Merrick, Marcus and Argyle. I don't even know my own characters. I was playing so much Pokemon Violet, so Pokemon and a chicken snake, because what's, what's a sketchbook about a chicken snake? Over here we have Millie, Chris and Damien all together again whilst Jack's off kissing his boyfriend and Merrick's being a creep. <laughs> I don't know why I drew him just directly staring at those two but okay. Down here we have Victoria and then next to her we have Millie looking fabulous if I don't say so. And then I have a very orange and blue page. Um, I do this like mashup of Pinterest things I found and then down here we have a really really weird looking jester <laughs> a drawing i've covered up and then um i keep forgetting his name but cheshire cheekier i can't remember i'm so sorry um but him from alice in borderlands i love 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 his character even in the manga loved him um so i had to draw him next up more doodles more oc doodles uh down here we have the lion creek lions aka the sports team for the school in my little universe i just wanted to draw the boys all together so that's there we have a very sassy looking coda jack hugging jess because they're the best of friends jack's older brother ryan and then nico d'angelo aka the ghost gang because i need to draw more fan art in my sketchbooks i i literally just draw my oc and nothing else so there's some fan art Next up, we do have some more fan art. So I was replaying Until Dawn and I got a bit too obsessed again with that game. Uh, so I just drew all the characters minus a few and then covered that up with a very spooky little indication of how you can kill them in that game. Uh, over here, it's a stamp I immediately lost the second I got it. A very funky looking Merrick, Zachary and Pigtails because he deserves it. And then we just have Jess and not Jess. I keep saying Jess, Jack and Mist, because they deserve to have some that one, one time. I'm so bad at videos. <laughs> Next up, a page I do actually really like. Um, this is a very messy, cluttered page. Uh, but we have Jack and Coda. Basically, Jack trying to convince Coda to get another dog because look at the dog. Look at him. Then down here we have Scotty and Jason because I realised I hadn't drawn them at all, the sketchbook, so they're there. Then over here we have the main trio with Coda being a great boyfriend and taking the photo. Next up we have a very weird mind meld of things. I just really wanted to doodle a bunch of things that I found on Pinterest, so that's there. This is when I wanted to give up and stop working in the sketchbook and <laughs> I had a little moment. Then art block hit and I was really stuck for ideas so I was just watching South Park, uh, what's some, what should we call it, Jacksepticeye's security breach playthrough and then I turned a cat and a turtle and just mushed them together <laughs> as you do. 
Next up, more South Park fan art. Uh, I love Kenny and Butters, they're so cute, so I drew them. Up here we have Charlie going grocery shopping with Goob and Sebastian because Charlie's just everyone's dad at this point, to be honest. <laughs> He's trying so hard. Then I was just practicing perspective and then just some animals because I needed it to practice. I'm just so bad at drawing those things. Then we have more South Park fan art. I got kind of into the Pete and Mike ship, so that's some fan art there. Then I was rewatching Always Sunny and I love Charlie Kelly like an egregious amount, so he's there. And then I wanted to draw the boys, the gang, all together, so I did a full page illustration of just them hanging out in an alleyway because that's kind of their vibe. Next up, a <laughs> very messy page. Uh, this was the drawing that never came to be. If you look hard enough, if you look close enough, you can see it. But only cool people can see it. If you can't see it, I'm sorry, you're just not cool. Over here, we have Coda looking real grumpy. Then we have the humanized version of Max from Sam and Max because I loved, I humanized both him and Sam in a previous sketchbook and I just loved the designs so much so I drew it up. Then we have Nano from The Girl From Nowhere. If you like horror and you like kind of episodic stuff you would love that. Then we have Mist in her work uniform because I love the idea of her having to dress up like that. Then a very colourful page. Um, I love the idea of Coda being really really obsessed with like soap operas <laughs> which is a very drastic change from his grumpy persona um, so he's just crying over some fictional characters breaking up whilst Jack is too hungover to really care. Then we have a bird in booties, Argyle, Paranorman aka Norman and then down here we have Jack, <laughs> not Jack, Jess and Sam because Listen, I need to draw them more, okay? They don't get any screen time. Next up, a full page illustration again. This one is of Black Cat Coffee, which is one of the many locations in my little cartoon OC world. Um, I just wanted to draw the gang all just there together, hanging out because they deserve it, okay? They deserve, everyone deserves it. <laughs> but yeah, I just really wanted to draw that. And then over here, just some random pose practice because I need to practice more. Then we just have Felix aka Pestilence looking a lot better than he did on the first page. Zachary and Victoria just kind of chilling. Then we have the good boy Kabanchi and Stark because again I need to draw dogs more. I need to practice. I just I constantly forget to. And then we have Max because listen I drew her brother this entire sketchbook but I never drew her so there she is. Um, and then we have the black cat coffee logo because yeah. Finally we're at the end. It's a messy messy <laughs> kind of sudden end. We just have Argyle and Marcus just Argyle being a simp because they never got to be a simp this entire sketchbook so there we go but yeah that's the sketchbook it was very long it took me far far too long to complete but I'm really happy with how it all turned out so yeah that was my sketchbook thank you so much for coming along on this little journey with me if you like the video please give it a like button it means a lot and it really helps to grow for my channel if you have any comments questions queries anything like that please leave it in the comments down below even if it's negative I love hearing from you guys and I would love to know what you guys think if you want to see more from me do hit the subscribe button and also check out the other content on my channel new stuff is coming soon I have ideas for like challenges and draw with me's I just need to like buckle down and film really. So yeah, I think that's everything I meant to say. Can't wait to talk to you down below in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.